Let me get started. I want to say good morning to everyone. I want to thank everyone for being here. And this morning, I'm joined with uh, Chief Troy Fenner, Chief Saddlewhite, um, various homicide uh, investigators, um, and Harris County District Attorney uh, Kim Ogg, uh, Chief Pena. Um, and I just want to start off by just thanking this entire group and so many, many others uh, for working tirelessly over the last, uh, I just want to say four days, but even longer than that, in addressing the crime situation within our city. Uh, this morning, we are announcing the arrest of two individuals in connection with the murder of New Orleans Police Detective Everett Briscoe and critically wounding Darren Ricolfi, who remains hospitalized in critical, in critical condition. Uh, these suspects are charged with capital murder and attempted capital murder, and Chief Fenner, as well as Kim, uh, Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg, will speak more specifically to these charges. Four days ago, uh, we stood here and, sh and said we would find and arrest the individuals responsible for the shooting that happened on, at the restaurant at Grotto's on Saturday, August 21st, and uh, that is exactly what happened. We said we would find them, and I want to thank all of law enforcement and all of the people in, in the, the community that assisted in helping to, f and to find them. I want to thank Chief Fenner and the HPD homicide detectives and other law enforcement officers on the ground. We have worked diligently to locate and arrest these dangerous criminals. I am grateful to members of the community who called in tips, including one to Crime Stoppers Houston, that led to an arrest in this, in this, in this case. I want to thank Houston businessman Timothy Fatida, uh, owner of the restaurant where the shooting happened, for his general, generous financial contribution. I also want to thank ATF, Houston, and Crime Stoppers New Orleans for adding to the reward fund. Let me just say before this press conference um, started, I have had a conversation with Mayor Contrell out of New Orleans, and ex uh, number one, to tell her of what was unfolding today and that these suspects had been arrested, uh, and also let her know uh, that we are continuing to, to pray and offer our support to the people in New Orleans. I am proud of this community and how the city stepped up to do the right thing by calling in to provide detailed information that led to these arrests. This is a heartbreaking time for the victims, families, and in many ways for the entire city of Houston and New Orleans. And I do want to continue to extend my prayers uh, to Officer Briscoe's wife and his family and his friends and the fellow police officers in New Orleans. And then I want to continue to lift up uh, Mr. Ricoffey and his wife and his children, family members and friends. The break in this tragic case won't bring back Detective Everett Briscoe. It won't undo uh, what uh, uh, Mr. Ricoffey is, is dealing with at this uh, point in time. But I pray this development provides some amount of relief for the family as they prepare to, uh, uh, to lay Mr. Uh, Officer Briscoe to rest in New Orleans Saturday. I have asked Mayor Pro Tem David Martin uh, and his wife to represent the city of Houston at, at that funeral tomorrow. My heart goes out to his wife, his children, extended family, friends, and fellow officers, and to the Ricoffey family. I want them to know that we continue to pray for him and continue to lift them up as well. The city of Houston is sending representatives, and I just simply ask that we continue to do our best as we move forward. The work on this case is far from over, and let me now yield to Chief Fenner to provide additional details. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, I just want to thank our community, and this is what happens, and this is what we talk about when community and police officers come together. And not only this homicide, but all homicides in our city. I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate and, and, and glad to stand with our D district attorney, our chief fire chief, Sam Pena. Thank you for being here. But I don't want to repeat everything that the mayor said. I want to thank Tillman Fatida, our crime stoppers, both here in Houston and in New Orleans our ATF partners, all of our partners that assisted us. But I also want to thank 
our team, our homicide team under Commander Deese, Lieutenant McGallan, and all the other investigators. Great work, but we cannot do it alone. But I want to speak shortly to the human element that sometimes things that go on behind the scenes with families who are suffering because of senseless violence. They're people. I'm proud that I'm going to go down and stand with my colleague and my friend, because I know he's hurting. Superintendent Ferguson and that entire city and both of these families, we're going to be standing. They got a storm approaching and then he has to deal with all this. And we're going to stand with them as, as, as a city, as a department. And I'm proud. It's, when this is over with, we're heading down. But look, let me say a special thanks to, to all of our units out there, our SWAT team, our crime suppression, our gang units, our patrol officers. When we stood we said that we were going to leave no stones unturned and we were going after these suspects and we did so wednesday afternoon we arrested one suspect anthony richard jenkins his picture is over here a 21 year old male he was arrested on an apartment complex on the southwest side of uh houston uh, also seized in that arrest was a vehicle a nissan Altima, which matched the description of the vehicle that le left the homicide scene. Also, Frederick Dwayne Jackson was arrested Thursday, and he was taken into custody by our SWAT team. And before I turn this over to our district attorney, I want to let you know, please continue to pray for both of these families. Ms. Recuffy, Recuffy, I meant to say, and Ms. Briscoe, I spoke to both of them this morning. I spoke to Ms. Ricoffey last night at the hotel. She's hurting, her family is hurting. Pray for her husband. He's still fighting. But more importantly, pray for everybody, everybody involved. And we got even other victims out here that's lost loved ones to senseless violence in our city and other cities. Communities, everybody stand up. Good police officers. Good people coming together, solving senseless murders. And we're going to make all our cities in this nation, including Houston, safer. So thank you, and I'm going to turn it over to our, our district attorney. So just like on the uh, old TV show, Law and Order, the police can make the investigative uh, effort as they have in this case to solve a city's terrible crime. It does take prosecutors, however, to take that charge to court. And with that, I want to thank our prosecutor, Cameron Callaghan, works under Ruben Perez in our Gangs and Organized Crime Unit. Uh, Cameron worked right alongside Detective uh, Adam Brock, who I want to thank uh, he and his partner for all the work that you've put in since this uh, terrible uh, murder and attempted capital murder. And I, uh, I just don't have enough uh, good things to say about the leadership of HPD mayor under my friend Troy Finner. I knew when he was 